Well, today I have two new bags. I know I showed you the little market bag that I bought at the Palafox Market uh, a few weeks ago on a Saturday morning. Bought it from one of my favorite shops here in Pensacola. Well, one of my favorites that I have found so far. Also, I had ordered a couple of bags that came in that I wanted to show you because I thought very likely they might be something that you might want. So a little bit later, I'm going to show you both of those bags. One is very inexpensive. The other one is well, just a few dollars more. So affordable for so many of us, I know, if we want new bags. I wanted to talk to you for just a minute today about, and I guess it's, I guess it's just this aging process that, I mean, we're all going through it. There's no doubt about it. We're all aging, you know, from the time we're born, obviously, we're aging. But once we hit those 40s and 50s, especially, I think we really start to realize, and it's not so much the outward appearance of aging. It's how we feel about aging. And I think, and I've said this before, I think it's so easy to get caught up in how to look younger and trying to look younger and thinking that that's what really matters when, gosh, I think most of us, if not all of us, who are really getting on up there in age. I'm 79 and a half, pushing 80, leaning into 80. But I've truly, truly started to realize that it's, I, 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 and I've said this, <laughs> although I wanna, I wanna get up and take what God gave me and, and do the best I can do with it every single day. I want to try to look my best on most days. Uh, it's not, it's just, it's just not about this. It's not about the makeup I use or the skincare I use or how I do my hair, whether or not I'm frumpy, what clothes I wear. I'm learning just like many of you are learning and many of you already know that it's about so much more. It's about so much more. Uh, this little health scare I've had this last year with my cholesterol. I've, uh, and again, many of you know some of my lifestyle changes that I have made. And one of them is I have really amped up my walking. And for as long as I can remember, uh, you know, I've, I've just, my whole adult life, really, I've been a walker. I, I went for years and I was a runner. I ran every day. One day I just decided I didn't want to do that anymore and I started walking. But I've always walked to music. I have playlists on my phone and sometimes I listen to walking, actual walking tapes. Who remembers the old Jane Fonda walking tape? Uh, I even downloaded it from iTunes. I st it's still on my phone. I've, but I've walked to music. And back a few months ago, I decided to switch it up. I, I was, I'm telling you, I was struggling a little bit with my walking as far as motivation. And I, I decided that I would try listening to podcast and listen to podcasts that were pretty motivational to me. And I, I started off with Mel Robbins, and I, I know that many of you probably know who Mel Robbins is. Mel, uh, I found Mel maybe, I want to say three or four years ago, I found her YouTube channel. And I just loved her. I, I just, I felt like I could relate to her. And she started talking about a book that she had written that was getting ready to come out. 
and the more I, you know, the more I listened to her, the more I knew, number one, that I had to have the book. And I knew that in this book, she would really be talking about a lot of the things that I've done for years, long before I knew who she was, long before I had a YouTube channel. I knew so. I knew that I wanted the book, so I was just, I knew I wanted the book, and I ordered the physical book as soon as I could order it. And many of you probably know it, it's the, the High Five Habit. And it, can you tell that I like it? I have, I, I don't always write or highlight in my books, although this one I did, uh, you know, but I also, I also underlined and did little tabs and even made little notes on these little tabs. I don't think you can see it about what what that little tab is about or where it refers to. And a lot of this is about the five second rule. After I got this, she, in fact, she talks about the five second rule. And basically what she's saying is that you, we have five seconds where we decide whether we're gonna do something or we're not gonna do something. And how I relate to that is uh, since we moved here to Pensacola, I actually walk in my neighborhood in this tiny little subdivision that if I walk the outer perimeter of the whole thing, it's, and hit every little cul-de-sac, it is not quite a mile. Actually, it's about eight-tenths of a mile. So I have to go out of my driveway, walk all the way around the outer perimeter of the road, and walk, come around and walk past my house and down the street a little bit further before my trusty watch, and I don't have it on, tells me you've walked one mile. So, and here's the deal. <laughs> I could get back to the house and I would be okay. And if I could get past my house, I could do it. I'd do another lap. I already realized that. And then Mel talked about the five second rule about m making a decision and you have to have, it takes like five seconds to follow through with it. And I, I was think, you know, okay, I'm walking back, whether it's my first, second, or third mile. I, when I come back around, just before I make the turn, to come around by my house. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm so tired. I think I'm not gonna go that second mile. I think I'm not gonna go that third mile. And what I do, I say, yes, I am. And it's almost like I close my eyes and I walk right by our driveway and I keep going. And once I commit to that and I keep going, and I have about five seconds. I give myself about five seconds. Once I get past our driveway, I'm, I'm easy to do another lap, as I call them, around our neighborhood. So I had already been doing that based on what I read in her book. Now, let me tell you, she doesn't know me from Adam. She, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've never left a comment on her YouTube channel. But I, And I knew she had this podcast, so... Naturally, I thought I would listen. So I went to where I listened to my podcast on my phone and looked her up. And, and let me tell you something. She is, uh, I don't know if it says it in this book. Let me see. Well, it does say it here. She is the number one podcast on Audible. And she may be the number one podcast now on other sites where you can listen to podcasts. I'm, I'm just going to read you what it says on the cover. Mel Robbins is one of the leading voices in personal development and transformation and an international best-selling author. Her work includes the global phenomenon, The Five Second Rule, four number one best-selling audiobooks, the number one podcast on Audible, as well as signature 
online courses that have changed the lives of more than half a million students worldwide. Her groundbreaking work on behavior change has been translated into 36 languages and is used by healthcare professionals, veterans organizations, and the world's leading brands to inspire people to be more confident, effective, and fulfilled. As one of the most widely booked and followed public speakers in the world, Mel coaches more than 60 mo Wait a minute. Let me, let me read that again. I looked at that and stuttered. As one of the most widely booked and followed public speakers in the world, Mel coaches more than 60 million people online every month. And videos featuring her work have more than a billion views online, including her TED Talk, which is one of the most popular of all time. And I will tell you something that, something else that I love about what she does is unlike some of us, and I include myself, content creators here on YouTube who are always giving you little tips and advice on how maybe we can lead better lives if that's what we want. When I do it, and I know when others, some some others, I'm some others, I do some research on those things that I'm talking about. But Mel, the difference in what Mel does is that Mel has the scientific proof. She has the studies behind it about everything that she teaches. But I think what I like about Mel more than anything, there she is, by the way, is that Mel is me. She's you. She's just like us. I can relate to her so easily. It's like I'm sitting in that room talking to her. I don't have to have any makeup on. My hair can be in a messy ponytail. Maybe I haven't even brushed it. Doesn't matter what I have on. I feel like I could be sitting there talking to a friend. And I have just grown to love her podcast. And so I, I'm going to recommend this book. But more than that, I want to recommend that if you are looking, if you, and it, you don't even have to be going through this older aging process, as I'll call it. But if you're, if you're any age and you're just looking for some ways that you can look at things differently. And that reminds me of another one of my favorite people in the whole world, Wayne Dyer. And Wayne used to say, when you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. And since him, I've heard many, many people uh, who are experts use that phrase in different forms. But that's what it's saying. And I think that's what I'm learning from Mel. It's when I change the way that I look at things, the things I look at change. I, I'm going to leave all the information below for you, but I'm also going to leave a podcast that I listened to recently. And I'm going to, and if it's something you think you might be interested in, you can just click on it and see what you think. Or just, you don't even have to listen to the podcast because I believe most of her podcasts are actually in video form on her YouTube channel. So I'll for sure leave that for you too. All right, here we go. I filmed me showing you the two bags the other day and and I'm gonna play that now. Two new bags to show you and I've had both of them for maybe 
close to a month and I just forgot to show them to you. But the first one you'll be super familiar with because you've seen a version of it before. It's this little canvas bag. The first one, if you'll remember, I purchased from Lisa Robertson who used to be on QVC. She ha I purchased it from her in the canvas color, the tannish canvas color. And then I went from there to, I found on Amazon, the blue one. And I, it came in multiple colors, got the blue, loved it. I mean, obviously I love the first one enough that I got from Lisa that I ordered another one. Loved the blue one. I have literally worn it out as I did the tan one, the beige one, canvas colored one, bag. because we travel and when we travel we need something that we can carry all of our stuff in when we're out sightseeing and shopping and touring and, and even when we're not traveling. I have already used this. In fact, when we went um, in a video or two ago when we went on a Saturday morning down uh, downtown Pensacola and I, I used this, I carried this, and I loved it. So let me show you what it is. Ordered this off of, I believe, QVC. And by the way, I'll have the links for both of these below. But I ordered this off of QVC, and I've never heard of the brand before. It was the Today's Special Value, and the label says IHKWP right there. And it's also on the zipper tags have no idea how you pronounce that, but I love the size of it. You can see, uh, I'll put my hand across so that you can get an idea of the width of it and the length of it or the height. Thank you so much for watching. I love you more than you can imagine. Don't forget to be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.